the iPad Pro. Although it's a very versatile and powerful device by itself, adding in a few accessories can enhance your experience even more. In this video, I'll be sharing my favorite accessories that I use with my 2017 10.5 edition iPad Pro. And yes, I did say 2017. Even though this is a few years old, it still performs very well today. Along the way, I'll also be sharing some of my favorite iPad apps that I use on a regular basis. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jerry. If you're new here, I'm a software engineer here in Phoenix, Arizona, and I make videos on lifestyle and tech. I'm still pretty new to YouTube, so as a small channel and creator, I appreciate you being here. All right, on to my first accessory, and that is this sturdy metal adjustable stand by CabCon. The main reason I got this was to prevent myself from slouching when using my iPad at my desk. When using my iPad, I didn't like holding it up to my face at eye level because my arms would get tired, so I resulted in putting it flat down on my desk. But if I laid it flat on the desk, I would find myself slouching forward to look down at the screen, which made my upper back and neck very sore. Having my iPad on the stand is really nice as it's at the proper height for viewing the screen and there's no need to pick it up, leaving both my hands free. The stand has two joints so you can adjust the height and angle as needed. For when I'm not using my iPad directly, I'll always have it to the side on the stand playing music on Spotify or a video on YouTube in the background. The stand is very sleek in design and fits very well in my desk setup. Moving on to my next accessory and that is the Apple Pencil 1. I use this mainly for making and designing my YouTube thumbnails. My graphic design app of choice is Affinity Photo. It's really nice and works really well with the Apple Pencil and it's on par with Photoshop. I used to use Photoshop in the past, but the, on the iPad it works really well and instead of paying a lot of money every month or every year, depending on your plan for Photoshop, you only have to pay one time, that's $10 on the App Store. As far as note taking goes, I don't use the Apple Pencil as much nowadays, but back in college, I would use my Apple Pencil and iPad to write down all my notes for all my classes. It prevented me from carrying lots of notebooks and binders in my backpack, and I actually took better notes and they were more organized. The note taking app that I have and that I used in college is called Good Notes 5, and you can get it on the App Store for around $8. Here are some of my favorite things about the app. It works really well with the Apple Pencil as it takes advantage of the touch pressure feature. So if I press down harder, then there's a larger mark on the paper and vice versa. If I push down not as hard, my stroke will be lighter and thinner. Also with a click of a button, I can change the color and the width of my stroke. I can easily draw neat shapes and lines using the geometry tool. And by far the coolest feature about this app is that you can search through all your notes and notebooks and folders that you made using keywords. However, this feature only really worked if you had legible handwriting, which I do. And that actually leads us to my next accessory. Writing with an iPad and Apple Pencil is very different compared to writing with a pen or pencil on a piece of paper. When writing on a piece of paper, you have some resistance. However, on a plain iPad screen, the Apple Pencil will feel slippery and move all over the place, which results in very sloppy handwriting. To help fix this problem, I picked up a matte screen protector for my iPad. There's a bunch of these on Amazon, but this one is from a company called iCares. What this does is provide some texture on the iPad screen, which creates a little bit of resistance when writing with the Apple Pencil, so it's not as slippery, and this is to mimic writing on a piece of paper. It doesn't feel 100% that I'm writing on a piece of paper, but this definitely improved my writing experience and my handwriting. All right, moving on to my last accessory, and that is this keyboard case from Finti. Finti, hope that's right. This is a nice leather case that closes and encases the iPad using magnets. And the keyboard is actually also magnetic, so it comes off and on the case. When using the iPad with a keyboard case, I can place the iPad at these three different group points, which adjust the tilt at different points, and I can adjust it to fit my needs. Or you can remove the keyboard completely, which I do right now because I don't type on it as much. So remove the keyboard here, and then when you're using the iPad with this latch here, just fold it back and then stick this magnet right here. And it stays like that 
and I can use my iPad as is. I don't use this keyboard case as much nowadays, but back in college, I would leave my bulky laptop back in my dorm and this iPad Pro keyboard case combo would be my go-to daily driver. It was very convenient and quick to pull out of my backpack if I went to the library or cafe on campus to take some notes for class or answer some emails. It does also have a slot for the Apple Pencil, but mine currently doesn't fit as I have extra grips and accessories on it. All right, those are my favorite iPad Pro accessories. If you're interested in purchasing some of the products I mentioned in this video, I'll have links down below in the description. If you found this video helpful, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. What are some of your favorite iPad Pro accessories? Leave your answers down below in the description. For more tech videos like this one and other content, consider subscribing to support my channel, and that would mean a lot. I'm Jerry, and I'll see you next time.